I told you, sir, no such treaty exists. Yes, General, you have lied most bravely, but not convincingly. I know this treaty does exist. Treaty, sir. He does it better than you, General. But then, of course, he is almost an Arab. Well, now, Mr. Sykes is an English civil servant. Mr. Pico is a French civil servant. Mr. Sykes and Mr. Pico met, and they agreed that after the war, France and England should share the Turkish Empire, including Arabia. They signed an agreement. Well, you had both independence was denied, but also the unity of this area was denied. This is a story of intrigue among rival empires, of misguided strategies, and of how conflicting promises to Arab and Jew created a legacy of bloodshed which has determined the fate of the Middle East. Due to its subordination to the Jews, the arrogance of the United States regime has reached the point that they occupied Arabia, the holiest place of the Muslims, who are more than a billion people in the world today. For this and other acts of aggression and injustice, we have declared jihad against the U.S. Oh, another one just hit. Something else just hit. A very large plane. Another collision. Can you see it? I can. On September the 11th, enemies of freedom committed an act of war against our country. Our enemy is a radical network of terrorists and every government that supports them. Our war on terror begins with Al-Qaeda, but it does not end there. One of their holiest shrines, Ascaria Mosque, had become a pile of rubble. At dawn, attackers detonated a bomb in its golden dome. For radical Shiite cleric Muqtada al-Sadr called for revenge against Iraq Sunnis. The Islamic State is really the descendant of Al-Qaeda in Iraq which began under Abu Musab al-Zarqawi. He took advantage of the disorder and disaffection amongst the Sunnis in Iraq after the U.S. invasion to establish this, this new group. Al-Qaeda in Iraq officially changes its name to the Islamic State of Iraq uh, after the death of Zarqawi. A big rebirth comes with the fighting in Syria and the withdrawal of the U.S. from Iraq. We track these new terror concerns at home and overseas. We are reminded of warnings we heard back in 2007. Begin withdrawing before our commanders tell us we are ready would be dangerous. We mean be increasing the probability that American troops would have to return at some later date to confront an enemy that is even more dangerous. Yes, we are the soldiers who stopped the idols of nationalism, demolished the shifty symbols of Palmyra and Ninoa, and destroyed the Sykes-Pico borders. For there is no honor to be found in the remnants of shirk and nationalism, and no difference between an Arab and a non-Arab except through piety.